The Legend of the Beanie Man. A story such as this is always best told with snow. Ross Abram, originally from Colorado, but lived most of his life in Jamaica, had many fond memories as a boy playing with his friends in the snow. And sometimes such memories have a magic to them and things can happen. Today, Ross Abram, who everyone knows as the Beanie Man, friend of Bob Marley when Bob was very young, was in need of some adventure and a new job. Turns out the Beanie Man accepted a dream job working in Utah at a ski resort. He moved to Huntsville, Utah to work as a cook in the kitchen at Snow Basin Ski Resort. He never really learned to ski as a boy in Colorado, but was excited to learn. It wasn't long before he was a great skier and a common sight skiing with his beanie hat on. People looked forward to see the beanie man skiing and he played songs on his harmonica at the resort and made cookies for those who listened to him play. One mysterious thing about the Beanie Man was he practiced witchcraft. From time to time he would spend the weekend in Colorado to ski with his old friend from World War II. This friend was also a witch and it was said that he was the one that made the magic top hat that, made, that brought Frosty the Snowman to life. He sold it to a man named Mr. Hinkle, and the rest is legend. Well, one of the Beanie Man's trips to Colorado, his friend taught him how to make his beanie hat a magical hat too, and they smoked their pipes. Now you know why Frosty smokes a pipe and has a witch's broom. It's witchcraft. Some years later, the Beanie Man died of old age. Legend is that some of his friends in Utah ended up with his magic beanie hat. One year, there was a beautiful snow. A big snowman was made at the ski resort, and his beanie hat was placed on it. Soon, the snowman came to life and ran away up into the mountains at Strawberry Bowl. According to the legend, each winter solstice, the Beanie Man snowman is seen in the woods at Strawberry Bowl. Apparently, love resurrects his spirit each winter solstice so he can bring children gifts as they sleep, if their parents leave sugar cookies and eggnog out for him to eat. This legend is a great story of the power of love. For lo from love within creates the magic to make things happen. In the Ducharme family, we honor this tradition and leave out cookies and eggnog so the Beanie Man can bring our children gifts. And we keep cookies for all to eat from winter solstice until Ethiopian Christmas on the 7th of January. We celebrate winter solstice, also called midwinter or Yule. In past times, witches burned Yule logs for 12 nights after the solstice. And they may as well have been eating sugar cookies and eggnog, with or without the rum in it. <laughs> and they also may as well be watching movie, the classic movies Frosty the Snowman or the Legend of the Fro Frosty the Snowman, or Frosty's Winter Wonderland, or Jack Frost. I will leave links in the description box for these movies. Note, as a strict rule, the Yon Sway don't use Christmas trees or use Christmas decorations, but instead use Frosty the Snowman decorations, etc.
Um, I'll leave a link in the video to the story of the Beanie Man and Bob Marley. From the Ducharme family, we hope you all have a great winter solstice this year. Blessed be. Oh, one more thing. I got everything ready. I got my <laughs> snowman sugar cookies. Frosty the snowman, beanie, beanie man, snowman cookies. Obviously, I'm not very good at it. We've got our movies. That one's my favorite one. That one's like super classic. I grew up with that one. We all did. Like that. And some eggnog. Love eggnog. Blessed be.